Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today. What's the fuss? Well, today I have for you a little Walmart haul. Went to Walmart this Sunday um, around the evening um, to get out of the house. Um, we did have some rain and some pouring showers at times. Um, but I need to get out. I didn't get out um, a whole lot on Saturday. I got out a little bit, but um, sitting in here, it was getting disgusting. I had to go somewhere for a change of pace and a change of scenery. So, um, went to Walmart and walked around for a little while and looked up and down the seasonal aisle with Halloween stuff and also the other aisle where it was fall, just fall, fall related items and felt better walking around. And I did get a few things here. And I'm going to show you what I got. So, first of all, um, hold on just a second, please. Okay, I had to reach. I just literally just filled this up before sitting down the film. This is my cup from last year. These are these color-changing cups that were in Walmart. You got the straw and um, different sayings or also different designs on them. This has pumpkins with a black lid and a black straw and it's white but when the liquid hits it it turns it an orange color. Um may not be looking that great on film but it it changes because of the hot or cold that you add to it. it makes the color change. I also had another one that came in a two pack. <clears throat> this was part of a two pack. I had another one that said hocus pocus on it and I used it for some time. And it had a pink lid, and it had a blue straw, a baby blue color straw. The cup cracked on me after using it so many times, so I don't know if it was just a bad cup or what, but this one's holding up a lot longer, this particular one. And I filled this because when I went into the Walmart tonight, I almost did cartwheels backwards. I've been craving apple cider so bad, and sure enough, Walmart had it in there tonight. This cup is filled with apple cider. Right up front in grocery. Where the vegetables and everything is. And the produce is. They had the gallons of apple cider for six something. And 374 was the half a gallon. I got the gallon. I buy one at a time. For a, you know a week's worth. And then I'll pick up another one. As long as it's in season. So, anybody who's an apple cider fan and loves apple cider as much as I do, keep your eye out, out in Walmart or even other grocery stores that you might go to. Apple cider is starting to pop up. So, yes, and I love it. Ice cold. Other people will like their apple cider simmering warm. I like it icy cold. So, mm. apple cider season, it is. So, anyway... Got that, and then I got this as a treat for during the week here. I got the Hostess Pumpkin Spice Twinkies. They're also out in Walmart or probably other grocery stores just the same. I love Twinkies, and these are pumpkin spice flavored ones. You get eight in here. So I have enough for eight individual treats, snacks. Um, They also had the Pumpkin Spice cupcakes by hostess and they had the white icing on or is that the pumpkin spice icing i'm not sure or just the cupcake is this pumpkin spice you also get eight of those in a box the twinkies or the cupcakes by hostess pumpkin spice yes three i had to get them then this walmart that i go to um quite a bit this is in buckhorn pa again um, I'm not sure what my uptown story is now. I'm probably checking out maybe one night this week. I'll go to Walmart up the hill. But this Buckhorn one that I go to a lot, other than to south of me, I go to the one in hometown Pennsylvania, almost next to Tamaqua. But this Buckhorn one, every time I go up there, as soon as you walk in on the housewares side if you come through those doors first not the grocery side every time i go up there they always have what you call um indoor sidewalk sale there's all this stuff always up the front in racks and carts and bins and anything they could shove it in there's constantly clearing items in that place 
all the time. Tons of clearance up the front all the time. Clothing, purses, shoes, sneakers, baby items. There's always something in that store. They really clearance the stuff out a lot in that one. So when we walked in this evening, there was a regular grocery cart along with some other kind of racks that had clothing on. But this cart, it had these purses in. And I picked up two of the colors that this came in. If there was more colors during the time when these were still out in the purse aisle, I wouldn't know. But in the cart tonight, this particular hobo-style cinchy-type design with a braided handle. These here are like a fake leather, and they are so pretty. And this is a white one with... Um, there's a pearl essences. The pouchy things is, um, you, you open the purse, you know, this way. I'm one-handed right now. But when you open this, it spreads open. And when you pull the sides like this, it cinches. And it has this braided handle on it. And there's an iridescence to this white one. And it's very soft. It feels like it's very soft leather. But I don't think this is leather. Let me look and see a little better. But you also get inside, you get the long strap, like the crossbody super long strap with it. If you prefer to use it that way, or if you just prefer to use the braided handle version this way. These are quite roomy. You could put a lot in them. And they were originally $14. Let me see here. $14.97 originally. And these are made by, uh, let's see here. Made from 100% recycled polyester lining. That's what the tag says. Um, these are by no boundary. So they were $14.97. Then they marked them down to $9. Then they marked them now down to $5. Great deal on this. Very, very pretty design. I like this. So I got one in the white with the, the iridescent pearl. Just like a pearl has all that iridescent coloring to it. I got a white one. They did have black, but I passed. And I got this one. This color green. And this also has an iridescence to it. Um, It's called the Bucket Crossbody. And the colors just says green. But this green is like a pistachio green. A pistachio green color with the iridescent. I couldn't pass these up. I had to get one. In green. And also this, which I'm calling it white. But let's see what the back of the tag has to say. It says white. Because maybe they were going to call it pearl or something. For $5, couldn't beat this. Love it. It's just the right size when you're running somewhere. Not a big bulky purse, but not so small that you can't get nothing in. These are really pretty. So I got those. And then I made my way to the wax aisle. The regular wax aisle. I was mowing it over. And there wasn't anything I really wanted that it was jumping out at me. So I went up by the Halloween area to check out Halloween items. As well as see if there was any candle wax melts or candles related and I did see several but I didn't get nothing there either then I went to the third part which was straight up in the beginning of housewares where the first few shelfings are and they still had um oh I'm sorry I did get something from the regular aisle I'll show you but anyway they had right up in the front in what you call h1 h2 h3 letter and the number of the aisles Straight up in the front, they had the fall new wax melts as well as the fall new wax warmers. And then around the corner on the other side of one rack in the aisle, they now had over there the stuff they'd seen previously. But there was it looks like they either restocked some more of it or I don't know. Maybe it just was all there the first time and I didn't pay attention that closely. But that is the area where they had the Sugar Skull, new Sugar Skull warmers and also the Sensational Halloween wax scents. So, back to the regular. I forgot I picked these up. I picked two of the Sweet Apple up 
for a dollar ten cents a piece from the mainstays. And of course, this is juicy apple pear and vanilla. And it's always this nice green color. It's always this nice green. And this does smell exactly what they're saying. Juicy apple pear and vanilla. This is a good scent. It's a juicy apple. So I picked two more of those up. You can't go wrong with this. Fall or summer. It's an all occasion. Wax smell all year round. That's what I would say. Got that. It always does well by itself. Or you can even mix some more stuff with that apple. The sweet apple. Okay. Then they also had the Day of the Dead stuff. Right next to the Sensational Halloween wax melts. But the Day of the Dead ones were all there too. And the new sugar skull warmers and the fall stuff with another rack over where I just said so I picked up two of these in the day of the dead this is a returning scent it's in the bakery scent because there's a little cupcake symbol right here showing you but then on the inside it says bakery right there so this one here is um I'm not sure how to pronounce this in Spanish but anyway, in English, it says three milk cake, 2.5 ounces, always white. We don't have that extra hanging stuff up here in the little key poke hole thing. It, it's not there anymore. You know, when they used to, um, if, if you want to hang them, you know, like on a hook or something. No, these are all tapered down short anymore, less packaging. So this one here, I don't know what all the scent notes is for this, but it is from, um, the Day of the Dead collection from Sensationals. This is the Three Milk Cake. It's very good vanilla. There's a very good vanilla in here. A milkiness, a sweet, like powdered, white powdered sugar type of a smell. And the cakiness, it just smells like a very high-end cupcake type of smell with buttercream frosting. But I smell powdered sugar in here. So this one is good. And since they had some there, um, I didn't see a lot of it because it's already been, you know, picked in. But I found two. And there was a few left. I think three or four was in there. So if they restock this more, I'll get more. But tonight I picked up two. And these ran for two forty eight a clamshell in the Walmart that I was in. Okay, and the last thing that I have for you, but I need to sip, people. My mouth is very dry. Mm. My God, I'm so happy that apple cider is on the market. Ugh. Okay, then I picked up this more of the Halloween Sensationals. But I only got one scent because I'm in love with this scent. I just don't want to run out. So, I picked up more of this one. The Ghoul's Night Out Sparkling Fruits. And there we have that masquerade mask with some feathers. And we have um, the Made in the USA symbol right there. 2.5 ounces. These were two twenty two in the store. So, every Walmart is charging different prices. No two are exactly the same. You're... Yours could be two forty eight. Yours could be two dollars. Use yours could be two twenty two. They're all doing their own thing independently. I don't know why, but this is what they're doing. But anyway, this is from Rimports, and and the barcode is a little small. I mentioned that once before in a video. This is a smaller barcode. Um, they don't need to have it really large. The M for red light is still going to pick it up. And this here is in what I call a dusty rose. A tea berry color, like color tea berry, and this is so good. It is fruity. It's a really good, good strawberry in here, as if you had like a strawberry that you use for making strawberry daiquiris or strawberry uh, margaritas. The syrups that you use along with your alcohol, or if you're making a virgin drink, it's that really good, good strawberry. And then I smell something sweet in here, something like a cupcake again, like a vanilla cupcake, not a warm part of it, of the cupcake, the sweet, sweet part of the cupcake. 
And there's supposed to be coconut milk in this. There's a number of good items in this. And I love the way this smelled, and I love the way it scents up the room. And the first time I grabbed, I don't remember, was it four or five or something, the first time I got this. But tonight, I picked up, there's two. And here's two more, same scent, two more. And another two. And two more. <laughs> so I got eight of these tonight. I picked up eight in this particular scent. I can't get enough of this. Let me tell you, I really love this scent. And, <clears throat> excuse me, that's what I got from the Walmart. So I was really in shock when I seen those purses, though, too. Um, I, I, I couldn't leave them there. I had to take the green and the white. I would have took the black and maybe if I go back in a couple days and they're still there just by luck, maybe I'll pick the black one up then. But if I don't, that's fine. I got the two I really like the most. <clears throat> Both of these are great with a lot of other colors or things that you're wearing or your jackets or whatever. Or it's just because you love the color like me. So, yeah. That was a good deal on these purses. So, anyway, and my Twinkies. So, that's what I got. And I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see, you know, one last view of what I got. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if there's anything um, that somebody wants me to review and I'm able to do it, leave it down in the comments and we'll see what happens. So, let me flip you around and you're going to get a look the other way. Alrighty, there's the two purses again, and here's the wax melts, and here's my Twinkies. Yep, that's what I got, everybody. So, everyone be good, be kind, and get yourself some apple cider. It's out in stores, and keep your spirit up, everyone, and I'll talk to you real soon sometime this week again. So long, everyone. Bye-bye. I'm sorry, I forgot something. I forgot I picked this three wick candle up by Mainstays, everyone. This is called Caramel Corn, Scented Candle, Popcorn, Toasted Walnut, Caramel, 14 ounce candle. It has the black matte lid on it. These are going for $6 and six, six dollars and six, is it six forty seven or six seventy four? That's what it was in my area. Um, they have a number of scents out. And these are wraparound labels. These are so pretty. These wraparound labels for the fall. And we do have like a cauldron there with popcorn popping out of it. And we have some candies over here. I guess they're supposed to be the um, caramel probably. And, oh, let me get this off. The wax is all white, and the wicks are centered really nice on this. They're soy and they're wax. And let me tell you, this scent smells really freaking good, let me tell you. I smell walnut, you know, like walnut in there. And I do smell, I do smell a caramel, but I actually get a popcorn note. Yes, and these are in with the um, housewares area in the front where the seasonal stuff is for housewares, right before you go to the other wax aisles, depending on how your Walmart is set up. Yeah, they have about eight or ten different scents. Some are the same scents sometimes. They have a pumpkin spice one, and it has a different label. I mean, how many different pumpkin spice ones they already have out in different formulations of candle, and always with different wrappers, but it's still the same classic pumpkin spice scent. Also, there's an apple, warm apple pie one. Um, there's an apple pumpkin one. There's another one. I can't remember what it is, but it has like burgundy and gray 
plaid print like this to it. And there's an owl on it, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. But there's eight or ten different scents. And, yeah, I chose this one here. The Caramel Popcorn. Popcorn, toasted, walnut, and caramel. And, yes, it smells really good, people. This is an altogether new scent. Never seen this combination of three, these three scents together anywhere else so far from Maine States. Prior years, this is the first time. So, yeah, if you like some caramel popcorn with walnuts in instead of peanuts, like Crunch and Munch or Moose Mix or stuff like that to eat, get yourself one of these candles, too. This is fabulous. So, and these burn really nice. They burn even and nice, and usually they throw quite well. So, yeah, get yourself one of these. I might have to go back and get myself maybe another two of those. And the one where I'm talking about, I can't remember what the scent is called. I can't remember. You can look them up on the Walmart website, too. But it's the one that has a purple-gray look to this, and I think there's an owl on there. Right in the front here, there's an owl. I just can't remember what the scent is. Opt on my head. Well, maybe it's cranberry something or that. Cranberry mandarin, I think might be that one. That one smells really good and juicy and strong, too. It smells like a molten orange or cranberry. So, yeah, these are in your Walmart too, and on the website. Just look up Mainstays, Fall, Three Wick Candles, and you'll find them. So, yeah, I almost forgot about it. Because I put it to the side of me and I forgot it was there. So I wanted to include it. Yeah, that's what I got too. So again, like I said, if everybody likes this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're just watching me for the first time, you like my content, subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be uploaded every time. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. And I'll talk to you people sometime during the week again. All right, everyone. Be good. Bye-bye.